Good. I'm Mike Haley. No, I'm Barry <laughs> Durant. I'm not sure who I am. And this is Judy again. We're back. East Coast Swing. Uh, in East Coast Swing, uh, we started from reviewing your rock step because most people have a tendency not to do rock step correctly. And remember we said that you want to lead the rock step, pushing the lady back into the rock step. Not falling in and pulling, but actually pushing the lady into the rock step. So there's a push-pull in these rock steps. So we went over that in your basic. Then we use this idea all the way through in a pretzel situation. So from a rock step, rock, step, we went one and two, three and four, lead the rock step. Then we went underneath, one and two, three and four, lead the rock step. Then we did a tuck and turn the lady all the way back around again. One and two, three and four, rock, step. All right, to take the lady out, all we did was an inside double turn. One and two, three and four, lead rock, step. Okay, so that was the pretzel movement. Then we spent most of the time on the arm locks. And in arm locks, remember we started with a rock step from crossed hands. You can get there any way you want. One good way is to go like that, okay? <laughs> so we started from crossed hands, did a rock step, rock, step. Actually, we did it facing this way. Start with the rock step, rock, step. We did a one and two to set the lady up. One and two. Now she's only doing a single underarm turn and not turning very far on three and four. Three and four. And it's important that you're facing sort of her back. Then she starts on the right foot. And at that point, the man did a walk, walk, so that he's also on the right foot. And we go into the arm locks. One, two, three, four. Then it's triple step, triple step, rock step to get out. Triple step, triple step. Full step, rock, step. Now you notice that when I get out of it, I have to fudge my feet again. So I do another walk, walk. So when we're coming out of the move, the last one, she goes, triple step, triple step, rock, step. Piece of cake, that was East Coast Swing. We also did one other quick move. We had time called the toss across. We just did a rock, step, triple, all right, with a regular. Then we added an actual turn for the lady, doing one and a half turns on this side, triple, there you go, rock, step. We also showed the guys how they can come across through the pull with just a little half a turn. Okay, and even though we showed it, most of the guys didn't do it with an extra turn. Kind of tough in tennis shoes with a tuck turn out. Piece of cake. That was East Coast Swing. Enjoy. Good luck. <laughs> East Coast Swing. Okay, we started out in a, in a closed frame position here. We're going to go a one and two, three and four, rock step. Or how we're going to count it in the class, we're going to count it one, two, three and four, one, excuse me, one, two, three and four, five and six, starting with a rock step. So we're going to go one, two, three and four, five and six. Then it goes one, two, we're doing Passovers, three and four, five and six. And we replace a rock step with a kickball change. And it goes one and two, okay? three and four, five and six. And we played with the music a little bit here. We went kick one and two, hold three and four, and we rock stepped five, six. All right, now from there we went one, uh, excuse me, triple step again, triple step, triple step. We do a rock step, one, two, she does an inside turn, three and four, as I set up four, I'm turning to my left, five and six, we catch right to right hand. All right, from there she does a rock step. One, two, I bring her in, three and four, five and six. From there we do another rock step. One, two, she turns all the way around. Three and four, five and six, we're gonna uh, switch a rock step for a walk, walk. One, two, here's a free spin, three and four, Five and six, and we're right back to our basic one, two, we can close it up and just do a regular East Coast Swing pattern from there, okay? And that was our East Coast Swing class. The workshops I taught was the East Coast class, and then I taught another workshop for East Coast later on. We're going to put those back to back so you can see how we put them together. You can do these moves either separate or together. What we did in the first one was taught you the Lindy Basic or the Lindy Rhythm. First thing that we did was to, to work with the guys pattern first. It was a basic step with a trip full step and a walk together, trip full step and a rock step. 
guys and ladies both, remember one of the one of the things that we talked about in that class was that if you take your steps and you bring your feet together, that's what gives you the lilt. If you leave your feet apart, that's what gives you the jerk. So if your feet come together, you're going to look better. If your feet stay apart, you're going to look worse. Okay, so keep that in mind. Guys, keep in mind also, one of the biggest things that we talked about for the guys was to keep moving on that second triple. A lot of the guys would do one and two, three, four, and then they would go five and six and stay in place. Remember to keep moving, five and six. Bring her around you, okay? As far as the Lindy turn goes, we did an inside Lindy turn or a reverse Lindy turn. Ladies, remember we talked about how you recognize the Lindy being trip, pull, step. If you get a lead after that first triple, you're going to automatically always add walk, walk to your pattern. Okay, so that's how you know it's a Lindy versus a regular lead. Guys, remember you're going to either do trip, pull, step, trip, pull, step, rock, step, and then you lead, in which case you're going to do regular timing or straight time. If you do trip, pull, step, and then lead, it becomes a Lindy time or an eight count pattern. Okay, the other thing we talked about was your, was your hand hold. A lot of you were starting this way. We talked about how this distance from here to here with the lead really isn't enough in a faster dance to give her time to respond. So keep that in mind that we want this. Guy's fingers pointed in, lady's fingers pointed toward the guy, so the hand is down. We get a lot more longer distance as far as the lead goes that way so she can respond to it easier. This is Sarah Roger, by the way. She's helping me film this. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we'll go through the, the reverse Lindy or the inside Lindy turn where we're gonna go one and two. Guys, th then your lead comes up and across. We want it to come over your shoulder so she knows to go forward. She's gonna come right straight through five or three, four, okay? We're gonna catch her on the back, guys, and we're gonna do our second triple, five and six, bring her, bringing her around you, and then going into your rock step, okay? Let's do that from another angle. We're gonna do one and two, three, four, catch her, five and six, seven, eight. So keep that in mind. You don't have to catch her, you can let her go. And ladies, keep in mind that we want you to go one and two, three, Four, we don't want you to back up because if you back up we'll go five and six and we end up too far apart to do our rock step and we're pulling on each other. So keep in mind if he does let you go that your that your last triple in East Coast swing we always want it moving sideways or around your partner. So that was the first class. What we're going to do on the second class later on this afternoon, we're filming these in the morning on Saturday, is we're going to add something to that for the guys. So if you weren't in that first class you might just know just a basic inside turn where we do one and two, three and four, five, six, one and two, sets you up in the same spot we would be in if we did the Lindy turn first. So we'll, t we'll do this both ways. If you were in the first class, great. If you weren't in the first class, you can still do this second move as well, okay? Here's the, fir from the first class we did one and two inside Lindy Okay, don't hang on to her because guys, we're gonna go right into a turn on that second triple. So this would be five and six. On six, I want you to think about spinning and you're gonna spin to about here. You're gonna use your rock step, guys. While she's doing a rock step, you're gonna do seven, eight. Try to get your shoulder underneath her arm, okay? And then let go back here and have your hand right down here. Her arm's gonna come right off and you're gonna catch her right into this. Then we'll go in right into another turn. So as far as the move itself, we're gonna do one and two, three, four, five and spin, seven, drop it, eight, right into another turn from there, okay? So we'll do the whole thing for you. We're gonna do one and two, three, four, five and six, seven, eight, one and two, three and four, five, six. Now that helps you put those two things together as far as the Lindy time, versus regular time. If you weren't in the first class, you don't know Lindy time, you can also put this with a regular turn. So coming off of a rock step, we do rock step. One and two here is again, three and four, five, six. And again, just let her slide right off your arm, drop it right into the hand, guys, okay? From there, you can go into any, any number of other moves that you wanna do. The idea is to get the guys doing some double turns. As long as you don't turn, or you only do single turns, you're gonna be kinda stifling yourself as far as getting better, okay? So one more time from a different angle. We're gonna go one and two, three, four, five and six, seven, eight, one and two, three and four, 
five, six. Okay? My name is Ray Mickelson. We'll come back with some more in just a second. Yeah, East Coast way. Um, starting from a basic, triple, triple. We just took the lady out to an open position. And what we try to do is understand momentum and get a little faster with your speed. A lot of times people take an entire basic or two basics to get somebody to hammer lock, okay? And they would go rock, step, from rock, step, rock, step, triple, triple, rock, step. And then they usually tuck the lady in, tuck, turn, to hammer lock. We eliminated one whole basic by coming out of the rock step, a quick tuck and turn. Rock step, one and two, three and four, rock step. Okay, from here we just turn the lady back up. One and two, three and four, rock step. To do that, the man switches places with her, it makes it easier. Rock, step, he switches places and comes at her. One and two, turns her out. Three and four, rock, step. All right, so ladies just keep the regular footwork, triple step, triple step, rock step. So we have rock, step, triple step, triple step, rock, step. You're going to find that as they do it, it's going to be a little, there's a, a tendency to want to fudge it, and as long as they get the hammer lock, we're fine. They hit the rock step, rock, step, turn around, and rock, step. Okay? So that was the release. Now, from here, we went into crossed hands. Right, to get into crossed hands from the rock step, we're just giving the man an elbow turn and he's gonna raise the free hand over. Rock, step, one and two, three and four, rock, step. We're gonna do a tuck turn in crossed hands. The man's gonna reach under with his left hand, raising the right hand up. One and two, turn her out, three and four, then she rocks back. Rock, step. Then we have what we call a crossed hand pretzel. It's actually a lariat, like you would do in two step. He just comes underneath. One and two, three and four, rock, step. To get back to it again, he just tucks and turns her. Tuck, one and two, three and four, rock, step. Okay, so again, that was one and two, three and four, rock, step. One and two, three and four, rock, step. We took that over to a man taking the lady into a duck hunter. So we went, one and two, three and four. Pick up that hand because there's the only one that's left. <laughs> we hit a rock step. Rock step. The lady ducks underneath. One and two, three and four. Rock step. And we usually like to finish this with a tuck turn. One and two. Spin her out. Rock step. So that whole series, if we started through the whole pattern, rock step. One and two, three and four. Rock step, turn around, and rock step, overhand, and reach underneath. One and two, three and four, do a cross hand pretzel. Three and four, rock step, tuck and turn. Three and four. One and two, three and catch, rock step, under, and rock step, that's butt to butt combination. Rock step. And that was our advanced East Coast swing. If you didn't come to my class, I hope you can pick up these moves just from the videotape and I hope you get some enjoyment out of them or maybe it piques your curiosity a little bit. Okay, we started with the East Coast Swing. We did a beginner intermediate East Coast Swing on Saturday morning and then on Sunday we did an intermediate advanced East Coast Swing. We tied those two classes together. Here's what we did in the first class. We started with single time where we do slow, slow, quick, quick. Here's the man's view. Slow, slow. Quick, quick, here's the lady's view. Slow, slow, quick, quick. Then we did double time. Double time is the touch step, touch step, rock step. Here's the man's view. Touch step, touch step, rock step. Here's the lady's view. Touch step, touch step, rock step. Then we did the triple time. With triple time, most people have their, their basic triple time down, so we went right into an intermediate, more advanced style of triple time using a short step, short step, long, and a short, short, long. So you get a little bit more dig into the floor. You don't have to use your legs quite as much. It's not quite as physically exerting, uh, and you can still get the, the pulse or the lilt that we want in, um, in the East Coast Swing, so we can get that style. So we did short, short, long, short, short, long, rock, step. The man's view is this. Short, short, long, short, short, long, rock, step. And the lady's view is this. Short, short, long, short, short, long, rock, step. This is where that remote control really comes in handy if you want to rewind those and watch them a couple of times. 
The, then what we talked about was being able to use those. If I get tired and she doesn't, she can continue to do triple time, okay? And I can do single time and we still match, okay? We'll still end up on the rock step at the same time. So she does triple, triple step, triple step, and now I get tired. Okay, so I'm doing slow, slow, rock step. Or I can do double time, I can do the touch step. Or I can do triple time with her. Or I can do triple on this and touch step on the second one. Or triple step here and slow on the second one. Or slow on the first one and triple on the second. Or slow on this one and touch on the second. Or touch on the, on the first and, and triple on the second. Any combination of those that you can think of, okay? You use those like you would use breaks in the music. Your rhythm changes in your East Coast swing, so that's where you're going to use those. Okay? Taking those things into some turns. We did one and two, three and four, five, six. One and two, three and four, five, six. Thinking short, short, long, short, short, long. And remember to move sideways on that second triple instead of back, backwards away from each other. Remember, we don't want to go back, back, back and end up so far away from each other that we can't do our rock step, okay? So keep, that, keep those things in mind, moving sideways. We talked about uh, the turns and, and getting into the intermediate or the uh, intermediate advanced East Coast swing. We started working more with the turns, but using that short, short, long, short, short, long, and rock step, and short, short, long, and short, short, long, and rock step. And this is where the lady moving sideways really comes in handy. When the guy wants to do a double turn, Okay, so she's moving this way instead of away from him. So she actually cuts down the amount of turn that he might do. We worked on a guy's double turn. You guys, you can either do this with an underarm turn. One and two, three and four, five, six. Taking her out, and when you're bringing her back, go under and under, or over and over. Okay, and we worked on getting your steps so they're real tight there, and you're using the shoulders and using the torque there. Same thing for the ladies. Do, having her do a double turn. One and two, three and four, five, six, one and two, and using that, using the shoulders there, okay? Same thing, guys, on setting up her double turn to the inside. Rock, step, you wanna take that hand out a little bit, okay, to set that up. Rock, step, and one and two, three and four. We're still moving sideways at the end. That was the East Coast swing. Welcome back to the review tape. We're gonna be working on our beginner to intermediate swing. Starting in closed position, remember we took a basic and closed, one and two, three and four, five, six, and we talked about the tuck turn and lots of different ways to do them. The basic tuck turn, remember on two gentlemen, have your partner's body direction going to the right, so on three and four she can make the turn. Notice, one and two, back in three and four, five, six to an open hand position. We talked about doing the single time with the kick and the gentleman doing the same, the same thing. Off of the rock step, the ladies hit the single time, one and two, as she turns, she's going to take the leg and kick it back. Kick the leg out, then make a weight change in rock step. Now remember, we decided that she could do it by herself, he could do it by himself, they could do it together, or they could not do it at all. It's a kind of a styling tip, it's a delayed timing. And watch it with both of us doing it. <laughs> Off of the basic. One and two, three and four, five, six. One and two, three and four, five, six. And we can kick to the side, we can kick. Remember, it's delayed timing. We talked about delayed timing. The weight change, waiting till four to happen. All right, delayed basic, delayed timing. We talked about was just touch step. The next piece was our double passing underarm turn. The lady's gonna to work towards the gentleman's right side. Remember on two, she will turn. Gentlemen, remember both, it's, it's a hand chaser. The hands come together, one and two. Gentlemen have started the turn, three and four. He works under, three and four to open hand position, five, six. Now I'm gonna turn Rhonda around and face the camera at this time because I want you to see the Mother's Day walk. It's actually a wrap walk and it looks something like this. Five, six, one and two. Instead of her coming to you, gentlemen, you wrap to her. One and two, lead the wrap, three, four. Then we walk forward, six counts. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now remember, gentlemen, you're gonna back away. 11 and 12, 13, 14. Takes 14 counts to make it happen. Okay, um, off the rock step, this is what your wrap walk should look like. Rock step. One and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, thirteen, fourteen. The next piece was basically, uh, let's take the first one to show the example of the first series without stopping. 
one and two, three and four, tuck turn. One and two, three and four, double passing. One and two, three and four, going into the wrap walks. One and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, thirteen, fourteen. The next piece was a basic and open hand position. One and two, three and four, five, six. Now from here we did a passing hand change. Remember, gentlemen, you're going to pass by her right side, bringing her right hand. Again, ladies, we'll turn on two. One and two. Gentlemen, turning to the left, just letting the hands slide down. Three and four, hitting five, six. Now, on the one and two of the next piece, remember the wall on two, gentlemen. Stop the hand so that you can pick up her left hand. We're going to bow tie for three and four. Notice, one and got the hand over the top. Three and four, rock step, five, six. Now remember, it's inside turn for the ladies to a rock step. One and two, rock step, three, four. Remember, gentlemen, put the lead in on four. Five and six, she works to the outside. Five and six to cape, seven, eight. Remember the butterfly, gentlemen, you worked heavy across to her right side. One and two, remember the elbow, guys. Easy over the top, three and four, right back to close, five, six. All right, from the top, we should find motion something like this. Taking it from the open hand, no, we're just taking it from the second section. We already reviewed the first section. One and two, three and four with a hand change. One and two, three and four, work to the bow tie. One and two, three and four, flying sweetheart. One and two, three, four, five and six, and butterfly. One and two, three and four, five, six. Finishing right back where you started into the promenade position. Take your time with this, guys. Practice each of these sections individually and then put them together because if you try to sometimes run the whole patterns together, they get a little mixed up. I'd take them one step at a time, practice them one little section at a time. What you did there was four, uh, was two 32 count sequences. Um, first one being 32, second one being 32. 64 beats of music. Hope you enjoyed that. We're going to be back with some advanced swing in just a minute. For the trickiest pattern of the whole weekend, we're going to take our advanced East Coast swing class and review it for you at this time. Starting in closed position, we did a basic one and two, three and four, five, six. Then we did our single, double, double, triple, double. Single time, double time, double time, triple time, rock step. Okay, so just remember we got to take it nice and easy on this piece. Try to get your centered up for the next piece. First two pieces look something like this. One and two, three and four, five, six, one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to do our single time back to back. One and two, remember no weight changes for either of us. Out, out, and in. Out, out, in, cross. Now for the um, five, six, we do a turn to the back side. Five, six. Remember we decided it wasn't all that important if our hands touch or if they don't touch. What was important if the weight is on the gentleman's right foot, lady's left foot. Then we go out, out, and cross again. And seven and eight. Now nine, ten, we're, we're going to try to get around a face, but we decided we probably won't. So we're going to let the hips do most of the work. Nine, ten. Now 11, 12 is a scuff cross. Eleven. 12. Now be patient. 13 and 14. We're going to, gentlemen, turn to the right, ladies to the left. 13, 14. Pick up the hands in our little cellar shovel. 15 and 16. All right, it's a very tricky piece, so we just got to take it really slow. Okay, notice very slowly. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4, 5, 6 and 7 and 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, and 16. Okay, let's try the first section together. What we did was a 6, a 10, and a 18. Or 16. 6, 10, and a 16. 1 and 2, 3 and 4, 5, 6. 1 and 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, 9, 10. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. 5, 6, and 7, and 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. All right, working into the next series, um, we did the passing TikTok. Eight count TikTok. Remember, the gentleman, we're going to take a complete basic. Um, we'll get the basic. No, no basic. <laughs> 
<laughs> no basic. Gentlemen are going to pass by the right side. Remember the eight count tick tock. Ladies again on two will turn. One and two. Gentlemen go over the top. Three, four. Work to the back side. Five and six. Rock step seven, eight. All right, let's look at the tick tock one more time. Gentlemen working past. One and two. Remember, march, march. Ladies got the outside turn. Five and six, seven, eight. Okay, now working into the next piece, we did a Lindy count. And we, remember, we worked together one and two, not just to let go and grab up underneath, but we brought it aside. One and two, three, four, five and six, seven, eight. It was a triple double, triple double. One more time on the eight count to close off the rock step. Rock step. One and two, three, four, five and six, seven, eight. And then we did our double diamond back. That was a tough booger. Sliding away. One, two, and three, and cross. Slide again. Five, six, and seven, and stop. Remember the fast feet. And nine and ten. 11 and 12 and 13 and 14, 15 and 16. Looking at that with some kind of speed, it should look something like this. One, two, and three, and four, five, six, and seven, quick feet, and nine and 10, 11 and 12, and 13 and 14, 15 and 16. Taking it from the TikTok, we should look for something like this. Rock step, one and two, three, four, five, and six, eight count Lindy, one and two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, one, two, and three, and four, five, six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, eleven, and twelve, and thirteen, and fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Please take each one of those pieces individually. It was an advanced class, and I didn't hold any bar, I didn't bar any holds on you. I gave it all to you there. I want you to take it one step at a time. Thank you, Rhonda. You did an excellent job this week in helping me. And we'd like to thank the 